Fernando, a challenging qualifying session. Are you satisfied with that one? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I mean, uh, with all the conditions at the beginning with Inters, we were P1, I think. Uh, then we switched to dry. We were P1 in a in couple of occasions, also in Q2. So, yeah, we seem to adapt very quickly to the conditions. At the end, I think it started raining. Uh, we were not in the first of the queue, unfortunately, uh, and we lost maybe a, a chance there to be higher up. But uh, this is only qualifying. The sprint race is tomorrow. Uh, so we will uh, hopefully recover a couple of places tomorrow. And a little bit of argy-bargy with Pierre. What was going on there? Yeah, it was the out lap. It was, <laughs> it was rainy, so you want to start the lap as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, we were fighting in the out lap, but it was a fun, fun moment. Well, we enjoyed it. Well, that was an interesting qualifying to watch. What was it like to drive in? Uh, yeah, it was, you know, pretty uh, tricky conditions. And uh, you just had to stay on track to, to do your lap times at the right time. Um, but I think at the end of the day, you know, we did that in Q1, Q2, just Q3. We knew it was going to be that one, that first lap, um, and I left to turn eight, and I locked up a bit. So uh, yeah, it's just difficult out there, but still, uh, you know, on the front row, and that's that's what's important. And you're probably going to lead into the corner, do you reckon, or do you think Kev's got something in there? I don't even worry about that. <laughs> I think uh, I think we should be all right. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Love. What a qualifying session, Esteban. Um, I pretty impressed with the p6 there are you impressed with yourself yeah i think it's uh, it's been good you know to, to qualify that that further up but um, obviously when you see kevin um you know qualifying on pole you think you know there's probably could have been more but uh, i think six and sevens for the team is, is a strong effort i um, very pleased with, with what we've done it's obviously very risky uh, at times uh, qualifying sessions like that you can end up at the bottom of the field and uh, we did on today so um, yeah we're in good position for tomorrow and from what you learned in FP1 about the car when it comes to tomorrow and Sunday how are you feeling about the rest of the weekend I feel good I think um, we're in a decent decent position we are in a decent shape um, I think it's a it's a track that I really enjoy uh, usually and uh, you know tomorrow we are gonna have FP2 to uh, still you know find out about the long runs and uh, and that before the spring quality so it should be good well, I'm glad you went out there and gave it a shot on the Inters at the end because I thought you might pull out something miraculous. What was it like out there? You never know, yeah. Uh, I just went out to, um, yeah, just to see what the conditions were like. But obviously it was properly wet, so, um, you know, it's motor racing. We loved watching that quali session. Was it quite thrilling as a driver working with the team, trying to work out when to go out, which tyre to choose? Mm, no. Not really. I think it was it was just difficult. It was difficult to see the conditions. It was difficult to see the raindrops. It was so dark, um, and I was the last car out. So um, I think I just got the last part, like of the or the earliest part of the rain or something. So um, yeah, I probably lost too much temperature in the pit lane as well. So just a bit unfortunate. But uh, George did a great job, and um, congratulations to, to Kevin. Lovely. Thank you very much. Good luck tomorrow.